Hi guys, this is Isa from Princeik in another video and this time I want to talk to you about how I can enter text with specific fonts to your planner in GoodNotes for using another app. My favorite app to do this is actually Graphic, which is this one right here, but that is a paid app. So I thought, why not showing you how to do it with the free app Vectornator. If you're just starting out and you don't really want to spend, then a Vectornator is a great option. Let's open Vectornator. Let's click on new document. And then here, just pick any size. That's not really important since we're only going to be copying text. So, you know, standard screen is fine. And this is the document that was created. You can rename it. You can say something like text, just so you know what this is. And then tap there to open it. And you have your canvas here, okay? I have made tutorials in the past using Vectornator on the iPad, but the app was updated and it looks quite different. So I'm actually learning myself a little bit, but all of the tools are here. So don't worry if it looks different. You just have to look a little harder, but you will be able to find anything that I show in my previous tutorials as well. Anyway, so let's do a text box. So for that, I'm gonna select my text icon, which is the fourth from the bottom up, and then just create a box. And then here you will have the option to enter text. So let's just write, for example, birthday, okay? In case you wanna track somebody's birthday, click on done. And then here, I'm just gonna make this font a little bit smaller. So click on this arrow at the bottom here, and then you will have a ton of different options. As you can see, it says font, and then I have marcadores caps selected, which by the way, you can get this font for free from the Facebook group. So make sure to visit if you want to download this font but you tap there and you have all of the fonts installed on your iPhone available, so that is pretty cool. Any one that you like, for example, let's pick this one, go back, and then you can also change the color. So if you want, let's say, a blue color, move your slider here to the blue section, and then with this dot, you can change how you know, uh, dark or light this blue tone is going to be, and then you can select the perfect color. So let's try something like that, click on done, get out of here, drag it down, and I forgot we need to change the size too, so let's go to size, you can either tap and enter any number of points, so like 50, or you can also just move this bar to the left and right to change the size, okay? Whichever is easier for you. And then I want to click on this arrow just so that I'm able to select this box or sticker that I just made. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little better. And once it's selected like this, you can click on this icon here with the two overlapping pages, that means to copy. And then you can do the multitasking feature on the iPhone, so just drag up. And then you can open your planner, tap and hold anywhere, and click on this arrow that appears because you don't have enough room to see all of the options. So click on the arrow, select paste, and you have pasted the sticker with the text that you were looking for, okay? Then tap again before deselecting and click on crop. I like cropping the sticker so that you don't get confused because if you don't crop the sticker, that extra space that you saw was going to be part of the sticker even though it's transparent. So if I wanted to use my lasso tool and I lasso it right here, I would actually be holding the sticker without knowing, okay? I can show you what that looks like. So here it shouldn't be cropped, so if I use my lasso tool, as you can see, I'm selecting the sticker, but I want to get rid of that, so tap and hold on the sticker, click on the arrow, select edit, tap again, click on crop, get rid of that extra space, hit done, and then if I use my lasso tool near the sticker, it will not be selecting it by mistake. Then you can resize the sticker, you can also uh, rotate, so tap and hold, click on your arrow, click on edit, and then with this dot, you could rotate the sticker. To reposition, lasso it again with your lasso tool and move it to whatever you want. And yeah, that is basically all there is to it, uh, how to add text to your planner in different fonts. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.